Hello students, let us start commutative law of a set. So what is meant by commutative law? If you take any two sets, so A union B is nothing but B union A and A intersection B is nothing but B intersection A, right? So in this today's class, let us see how to prove the commutative law. So let us consider for any two sets, two non-empty sets we can take or we can take empty sets also. So let us consider two non-empty sets which is A and B, right? So what is the first commutative law? A union B is, is equals to what? B union A. So now let us see how to prove. For proving, I will be using the property like equality of a two fun two sets. When can I say two sets are equal? If A is subset of B and B is subset of A, then I can say that A must be equals to B. This is the equality of a sets form uh, property, right? So let us use this one. So for this, let us consider first one element from the left hand side. What is left hand side? A union B. What is the meaning of union B? So either X can be in the set A or X can be in the set B, right? This is what I can say. Also, I can say that if X is in set A or if X is in set B, I can actually rewrite this as X is in set B or X is in set A, right? From this, what we can say? X belongs to either A or B. So I actually, I can write it as X belongs to B union A, right? From this, what we can say, if you have x belongs to this set, if and only if x belongs to the other set, we can conclude that A union B is subset of B union A. With the help of a if and only if condition, I can say that B union A is also subset of A union B, right? With the help of a equality of a sets, I can say that A union B is nothing but B union A, right? So this is the proof of the commutative law. Let us see one example for our better understanding. Okay. So what is the formula? A union B is nothing but B union A. So we need to prove this. For this, let us take first example. Let us take a set A, which is A, B, C. Uh, let us take C. Okay. Uh, what is set B? Let us take 1, 2. Okay. So first of all, let us consider left hand side. What is left hand side here? In our case, left hand side is nothing but A, uh, let us take the other color, which is a little bit darker. Hmm. So A union B. What is the meaning of A union B? A set union with B set, right? What is meant by union? We need to take the all elements from the set A as well as from the set B, right? So which is A comma B, 1 and 2. Agree? A, B, C, 1, 2. Let us take a right hand side. What is right hand side here? That is A, B union A. What is the meaning of B union A? We need to take a B set. What is B? B is given it as 1, 2. Union with A set. What is A? A is A, B, C. What is meant by union? We need to combine each and every element from the both the sets. 1, 2, A, B, C. Right? So can I say that these two sets are equal? Yes, we can say. Why? Because here order does not play a key role. So what we need to check? When can I say two sets are equal? So if each and every element should be present in both the sets, right? From this what I can say, A union B is nothing but B union A, right? This is the example for first commutative law. So now let us consider the second commutative law. What is second commutative law? For any two non-empty sets, let us take a, for any two sets A and B. A intersection B is same as B intersection A. Agree? So now let us see how to prove this. Okay. What is the proof here for proving this same property I will be using. So let us consider one element from A intersection B. What is the meaning of A intersection B? X belongs to set A. Agree? Intersection means and. We already know and is equals to intersection which I will be representing in this way. Right? This is union which is nothing but or. I will be representing in this way. This is the notations. Okay. Hmm. So what is the meaning of A intersection B? x belongs to set A and x belongs to set B. Means x is the element which lies in both the sets. Actually, I can write it as x belongs to B and x belongs to A. Nothing is going to change, right? So what is the meaning of this? This is nothing but x belongs to both the sets. Means B intersection A, right? So x belongs to A intersection B. x belongs to B intersection A. From this, I can say x inter uh, A intersection B is subset of B intersection A. Also, with the help of if and only if statement, I can say this left B intersection A is also subset of A intersection B. Agree? 
From this, what we can conclude? Therefore, we can conclude that A intersection B is equals to B intersection A. This is the proof of the second commutative law. So, for our better understanding, let us uh, do one example here. Is it okay? Uh, let me give you one example. Consider A set A. What is set A? Let us take elements as uh, A, B, C. Let us take set B. Set B as P, Q. So, what we need to prove? We need to prove that A intersection B is same as B intersection A. For proving this, first of all, let us consider the left hand side. What is left hand side here? A intersection B. What is the meaning of A intersection B? A set intersection with B set that is P comma Q. Intersection means we need to take the common elements. Can we find any common elements in this? No. What is meant by common elements? The same element should be present in this set as well as this. So here we are getting a phi empty set, right? So let us consider the right hand side. What is right hand side? B intersection A. Let me write it down. What is B? B set is nothing but P and Q. Intersection with what is A set? A is nothing but A, B, C. Is there any intersection element? Is there any common element? No, right? So this is also phi. From this what I can say? I can say that A intersection B is same as B intersection A, right? So actually we got intersection. Why? Because there is no common element. Agree. So uh, let me take one more example. It is also helpful for you for the second statement. Let us take A is equals to 1, 2, 3. And let us take B is equals to 3, 4, 5. So let us prove the second property. What is the second property? As we know, A intersection B is equals to B intersection A. Actually, this is second uh, commutative law. Right. Hmm. Now let us take left hand side for proving C. What is left hand side? A intersection B. Right. Uh, so I need to take all the elements in set A. I need to make an intersection with all the elements in set B. Huh. What is meant by intersection? I need to take the common element. If we can observe here, 3 is a common element in both. Agree? So from this, what I can say? I can say that this is simply singleton 3. Right? Now, let us consider the right hand side. What is right hand side? B intersection A. No? So let us take B intersection A. So the meaning is, we need to take the B set. We need to make an intersection with a set right so here is there any common element yes we are having what is that three is the common agree so i can take three is the element which is in the common from this what we'll be getting i got same lhs equals to rhs what is the meaning of that i can say that a intersection b must be equals to b intersection a right these are the two commutative laws and its uh, proof and the examples thank you